Three reasons to be concerned about the 2024 Packers season. With a season of high expectations just around the corner, the Green Bay Packers are gearing up for what many fans hope will be a Super Bowl run. However, after surprising the NFL in 2023 with a strong finish, there are significant reasons to believe that 2024 could bring disappointment instead. Here are three key factors that could turn the Packers from contenders into underachievers. 1. The running game. Can Josh Jacobs deliver? Last season, the Packers were 6-8 entering Week 16 and looking like long shots for the playoffs. Then, a three-game winning streak against the Chargers, Lions, and Chiefs brought renewed hope, showcasing that Green Bay could compete with top-tier teams. This momentum came largely due to the return of Aaron Jones, who had a major impact in those victories, rushing for over 100 yards in three of the last four games. Jordan Love's stellar performances during that streak, where he threw 10 touchdowns without a single interception, were largely a product of the threat posed by Jones in the backfield. But as the 2024 season approaches, the Packers have a new face in the backfield, Josh Jacobs. While Jacobs had an outstanding 2022 campaign, leading the league in rushing yards, his performance in 2023 was far less impressive. Among 49 running backs with 100 or more carries, Jacobs ranked near the bottom in key categories like yards per carry and yards after contact. After such a drop-off, there's a looming question, can he return to form and give Love the same kind of support that Jones did last year? Though Jacobs is motivated after a strong training camp, there's no guarantee he'll be able to take full advantage of defenses focused on stopping Love and the passing game. With over 1,500 touches in five seasons with the Raiders, Ware and Tear could catch up with Jacobs. And if the running game falters, Love's effectiveness in play-action situations may diminish, leaving the Packers' offense struggling to replicate the balance that made them successful in 2023. 2. Defensive Coordinator Jeff Halfley, an Improven Commodity For over a decade, the Packers' defense has been a point of contention, often overshadowed by the star power of their quarterbacks. In 2024, Jeff Halfley takes the reins as the new defensive coordinator, bringing with him high hopes from players and fans alike. Halfley's approach is aggressive, encouraging both the defensive front and secondary to attack. This has created buzz and excitement during the offseason. However, Halfley's coaching resume offers little in terms of NFL success. His time at Boston College saw mediocre to poor defensive performances, and while college football can be less predictable than the pros, the lack of a proven track record raises concerns. The Packers have a defense stacked with talent, from Kenny Clark to Jer Alexander, but turning potential into production is a different challenge altogether. While Halfley's aggressive approach could prove to be exactly what the Packers' defense needs, it remains to be seen how he'll handle the pressure of an NFL season. When the Packers inevitably face adversity, will Halfley be able to adjust and respond? As former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Halfley must show that he can punch back and put his players in the best position to succeed. 3. Special teams woes, will they continue to haunt the Packers? Special teams have long been a thorn in Green Bay's side. In 2023, the Packers ranked 29th in special teams performance according to Rick Goslin's rankings, with 19 penalties, the most in the league, committed by their special teams units. These consistent mistakes culminated in key moments, such as kicker Anders Carlson missing crucial field goals in tight games, ultimately costing the Packers a chance at playoff success. After sticking with Carlson through numerous struggles last season, general manager Brian Gutekunst finally decided it was time to make a change. After cycling through five different kickers during training camp, the Packers settled on rookie Braden Narvison to handle kicking duties in 2024. Narvison has potential and a powerful leg, but Carlson also had those qualities and failed to deliver when it mattered most. Adding to the uncertainty is the Packers' reliance on return man Kayshawn Nixon, who thrived under the old kickoff rules but may face challenges with the new ones in place. While there's optimism that Nixon will adapt and succeed, the Packers' history of special teams' failures over the last decade cannot be ignored. With numerous seasons finishing in the bottom quarter of the league in special teams' performance, it's critical that Rich Bisashia's unit improves if the Packers hope to make a deep playoff run. Special teams' mistakes have derailed Green Bay in the past, 
and if they continue in 2024, they could once again stand in the way of the Packers reaching their full potential. Looking ahead, will 2024 bring success or disappointment? The Green Bay Packers enter the 2024 season with high hopes, especially after the way Jordan Love and the offense finished strong last year. However, major questions remain regarding the running game, defensive coaching, and special teams. If Josh Jacobs can't revive his career, Jeff Halfley's defense falters under pressure, and special teams continue to make costly errors, the Packers may find themselves far from Super Bowl contention.